Welcome everybody, it's Nick from 420expertguide.com and today we're going to talk about how much light you need to grow cannabis plants. Um, I think it's something that a lot of people really don't take into that much of consideration and so it's a topic worth discussing. How much light do you need to grow your cannabis plants and breaking it down a little bit further into the daily light integral moles of light PPFD and micromoles. PPFD stands for photosynthetic photon flux density. It's just a term that refers to the intensity of light. And lastly, does grow light wattage matter? So light is measured in moles, um, typically moles per day. And that's how growers and farmers look at how much light their plants get. This is how you should look at how much light your cannabis plants are getting. So fruit and vegetable bearing plants, including cannabis, need 20 to 40 moles of light per day. At 20 moles of light per day, you'll be getting a moderate yield at harvest. And as you get closer to 40 moles, you'll be getting the more of, a, more of the maximum yield that you'll be able to get from that plant. And once you get over 40 moles of light per day, there's diminishing returns. So it's not really worth going over 40 moles of light per day. Grow light strength is measured in micromoles per second. Whoops. Grow light strength is measured in micromoles per second, which is basically just one millionth of a mole. One micromole is one millionth of a mole. And when you add that up over a 18 hour per day light cycle or 12 hour per day light cycle, then you get your total number of moles of light that you provided your plant that day. So how many micromoles do you need to reach 20 or 40 moles of light per day when you're growing cannabis? The answer is right here in this chart. During the vegetative phase of growth, which would be 18 hours of day per light, give or take, you should be uh, using a grow light that provides 306 micromoles per second. And that will get you to about 20 moles of light per day after 18 hours. If you want to get more of the maximum, closer to the maximum yield you can out of your cannabis plant, then you should be using a grow light that's providing 617 micromoles per second of light over that 18 hour light cycle. And that's during the vegetative phase. Now, when you're in the flowering phase, you have less time to provide that same amount of light per day. And therefore you need to increase the strength of your grow light or increase the amount of light that you're providing your plant. And so during a 12 hour flowering light cycle, um, if you want to hit 20 moles of light per day, then you're going to need to provide 463 micromoles per second of light to your plant. And if you want to get closer to that 40 mole number, then you're going to need to take it up to 925 micromoles per second. That's over 12 hour flowering light cycle. All right, and this is just another slide breaking down those numbers that I just discussed. How much light do you need for seedlings? Um, 20 moles of light per day would be sufficient. In other words, more or less 300 micromoles of grow up of a light during an 18 hour light cycle will get you to that 20 moles of light per day. And that is sufficient for seedlings. That is what you see people recommending for um, light strength for seedlings. So pretty simple and straightforward right there. Lastly, does grow light wattage matter? Um, it's a factor that I think is confusing and something people consider when they're buying a grow light or evaluating their current grow light. Uh, but I would say grow light wattage does not matter. What you really want to focus on is that number of moles you're providing your light per day. 
So you really want to look at how many micromoles of light per second that that grow light is providing the plants. And most grow lights will, um, when you're looking to buy a grow light, uh, most manufacturers will give you that number. And that is typically between 400 to 1200 micromoles per second, depending on the quality and strength of light that you're looking at. Now, I recommend trying to reach that 20 to 40 moles of light per day by sticking to an 18 hour on, six hour off light cycle during vegetative phase or a 12 hour on, 12 hour off light cycle during the flowering phase of growth. Um, don't leave your grow light on for 24 hours straight. Um, the reason being that you should give your plants some time to rest and perform respiration. Technically, respiration can occur during any time, even when the plant is exposed to light. But when it's exposed to light, it's really hindering um, respiration. Even though it can still occur, it's not the best environment for it to occur. So you really want to give your plant a few hours of rest per day. Now, if you're leaving your grow light on 24 hours because you're not reaching 20 to 40 moles of light, um, unless you leave it on for 24 hours, then that is a bit of a problem. I would recommend just buying an additional grow light to increase your light exposure to your plants, and then you won't have to run them for 24 hours a day. And you can thereby allow your plants to perform respiration for a couple hours per day. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks so much. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my website, 420expertguide.com. Thanks.